and good day. Welcome to Attack Power Gaming. Today we are casting the finals game one between Steven Seagal and Solo Wing Pixie. Both of these players are on the American faction with the third armored division. The only division you have is the American faction currently. On the blue side, we have Solo Wing Pixie, and on the red side, we have Steven Seagal. Both of these players have gone through a grueling, I think, six or seven rounds at this point of this tournament have won their way through so they're both excellent players i'm sure we can learn a lot from watching them we we'll see if we can pick up any tips on how to be stronger players ourselves in warno now we're going to watch them set up a little bit here we're actually going to put it on two times speed so we're not stuck in the setup for too long for those of you on the fence about subscribing this was jimmy before he subscribed to the channel and this is jimmy after he subscribed to the channel do you see anything different i feel like something's different you should subscribe to the channel. Thanks. So, as a reminder, in order to win this game, they need to rack up points based on the command zones here. The Charlie and Delta are basically assumed to go to Steven Seagal over here on blue. And then Gulf and Echo are assumed to be grabbed by Soloing Pixie over here in the red. Bravo is the territory that is assumed going to be fought over the most because it's in the middle it's worth three points instead of two so if both sides capture both their assumed territories and then contest this middle one we will be at even par there are no command zones down here to capture so really we'll see most of the action focused right in here and right here between delta and gulf there's always a little bit of a holding group down here just to make sure no one pushes through easily but for the most part you're going to see most of the action between these two zones and of course over bravo now you'll see both of these players deploying their recon out forward. You want lots of recon, you need to be able to see in this game. Recon is extremely important. You have to be able to target your enemies. If you don't have recon, you shall be defeated. Hopefully we see Steven add a little bit more over here. You probably recognize Solo Ring Pixie from Steel Division 2. He was a very strong player there, one of the best in the world at that game. And he has quickly climbed to the top here, as we can see. Now, Steven Seagal might have changed his name. He might have been a strong Steel Division 2 player, or he might have been an awesome war game player. I do not know. But I have to assume he has some prior experience if he's here in the finals of our first Warno tournament. Oh, if you enjoy this content, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more Warno content. Do it! Do it now! So we're going to slow this down a little bit, check out their compositions. We have lots of infantry, we have some stingers, which are AA infantry, meant mostly to shoot down helicopters. Their range is not big enough to shoot down planes. Oh, it's just showing me the mutt. I want to see the infantry. It's not going to let me. Truthfully, at this point in the game, and I'm sure it'll be balanced, AA is absolutely horrible. Anti-air weapons in general, even this chaparral here, they're just bad. And it's not because the anti-air is bad, it's because the design of the anti-air is bad. Their range is too short, their damage is too low. Planes basically will never die to it, and even helicopters can take like four hits. It's ridiculous. So that's why I think the Americans are just a stronger group. We see Solo Wing Pixie here with his double Apache start. He did this in, an, in his semifinal against Karma, and it, it paid off dividends. It just, it just destroyed him. Here we go. We're hopping in. Both players, lots of military police, some mech rifles. These are definitely the strongest infantry the American have. The military police being so cheap and the mech rifles just being a high-quality infantry unit that you want. We have an M1 Abrams. Ha! This is the heavy version. It's definitely HA, but I like saying ha. It's funny. <laughs> Anyways, this is the heaviest Abrams you have available. It's very strong. Um, it's your, kind of your super heavy tank in this game currently. We have the M1 Abrams. Ha! Over here as well. That's the only armor, though, at this point. Solo bringing in his anti-air, surface-to-air missile, which is basically your helicopter that can shoot down other helicopters. What you're going for here. Very effective. He used it to great effect last game as well. These Apaches pushing south. He's got his scout with its minigun. The Bradley's going to take it on, though. So far, it's taken no damage from the Bradley, and the Bradley is just going to get decimated by these double Apaches. The Stinger is immediately deployed. It lands a hit, which does not enough damage because, again, they just don't do enough damage. Eugene, hear my call. Fix this. Make AA suck less. Ah! Oh my God! <laughs> it's being decimated. Decimated. This is redonkulous, and this is why people can just helo rush. This is not a helo rush, people. 
Gila Rush is when you send lots and lots of helicopters, but this is still, this, this is why. Please, Eugene fi Systems, fix it. This is oppressive. And this is why Warno is full of cheese right now. Thick nacho cheese. Stevens, Emonabram opening up. Close this, hide this panel here. Pushing south, there's nothing to capture, but just having this whole flank crumble is no good either. Up north is fairly quiet, neither player deciding to push there. We can see that Solo has a very solid hold on Bravo. His Apache's coming in. The Stinger desperately trying to do some damage in vain. Why does it even try? This Apache routed. The Cluster coming in. The Abrams taking a beating. It survives because the American Cluster Bomber isn't very good. But because even that little bit of damage is enough. Oh, he's down to one health. Don't do it. No! <laughs> Death. Death. Destruction. This poor chaparral already out of ammo. Why does it only have four missiles? Ah. And Steven's opening push has been essentially decimated. Oh, no. Solo, don't do it. Don't do it. So I always suggest to all players, put recon on your flanks for the love of God. Good lord, put recon. Put one helicopter recon on either side. I know, it, it sucks. It's painful to waste the points, but this is why you must do it. What Zillow's gonna do, he's gonna fly around here, drop this helicopter down here somewhere. It's going to cut off control of this command zone, and he will not be able to call in troops anymore. At least from one side, I think. I haven't actually seen this happen where it's half and half. I'm not sure exactly what will happen, but I believe he won't be able to call in reinforcements anymore. And that'll basically end the game. Unless Steven can find it. But based on how poorly the front line is going, I doubt he will. He quickly bails these engineers out before they get destroyed in the transport. They're now under fire from the mech rifles, which are in good cover. While he's a nun, his engineers are under heavy fire. I don't even think that they're not even in the building. It does not look like auto cover is working exactly right yet. Here comes this command helicopter. Oh, Pixie, you horrible man, you. Just kidding. It's a strategy, and you have to prepare for it. If you don't, this is what happens. It's a shame, because this is going to basically seal the deal for Steven here. His only chance is if his M1 Abrams, ha, comes and find it. Yep, you can see all reinforcements are cut off. He's simply going to lose in 170 seconds. I, I want this to move. I don't think it's going to move. It looks like it's going to stay there. Interesting. Engineers are wiped out. You can see their dead bodies splayed out on the fields. And I'm sure Steven is absolutely baffled. Well, he's probably figured it out, I'm sure. He has moved his Abrams, hopefully somewhere else. Please tell me you're trying to find this. And at this point, even if he recaptures this, he's going to be so behind. You can see Solo's bringing in more troops to take advantage of this. He cannot reinforce his front lines, and every time he loses a unit, there's no replacing it. His chaparral dodges out of the way. He has a mutt here, but it's just out of range of... Oh! Steven! Steven, my man, move it forward! Move it forward like six inches! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, his Apache found it, thank God. The point disparity is not huge, but the fact of the matter is, the onboard disparity is massive. Steven is holding on here by a thread. Looks like Solo is going to decide to push here maybe at some point up into the north. I don't actually think he'll get very far. This is a solid defense, at least for now. But Bravo is securely in Solo's hands. And the tick has begun. This plus three from Bravo. All Steven has to do is move this, this truck forward. Now the problem is, Solo will probably realize that this is here and he'll die. So I understand why he may not want to. But on the flip side, it's going to happen anyway. This is the anti-air plane. It shot down Steven's Apache. Oof. 
This is just going all kinds of wrong. You can definitely see, though, it's very important to keep your troops in cover. Forests, you notice troops are either in buildings or bunched in forests. You do not leave them out. Leaving them out is to leave them to die. Now we have an Apache here. This is not the... This is the one that has the lighter missiles as well. That can kill infantry. That is cool. Total destruction. God, this game looks good. I gotta give Eugene credit. They have made a hot game. This is this is sexy. Oh, it looks so good. I mean, come on. Oh, that's awesome looking. That is awesome looking. Here comes a thunderbolt from Steven. I'm not sure I agree with this call. He is so far behind on ground. That patchy gets hit, but of course, since AA is terrible, it didn't do that much. And this Thunderbolt is just flying around, so he spent 280 points for something that hasn't done anything and isn't holding the line. In general, guys, I would suggest when if you are this far behind, you should not be spending points on planes and artillery that don't affect the front line. AA maybe if the reason you're behind is because the opponent has tons of air, uh, helicopters and stuff but this this is a waste this is this is an unfortunate waste now he's gonna move this forward he should see now that Pixie's got just an army of troops this thing's gonna crest the hill it's immediately gonna see this and it's gonna die and my sadness for Steven is going to multiply do something with this, Steven. Do something! No! <laughs> it's flying in circles! Looks cool. Looks very cool. Oh, and the Apache. Oh, no! Oh, the humanity! Oh, good god. Blood for the blood god. Here comes the cluster. What's it even going for? There's nothing there. I respect Steven for continuing to fight, but I don't see how he makes his way back into this game at this point. He's got nothing on the southern flank. This one Amon Abrams. Ha! But truthfully, a singular piece of armor is not going to do much. Do not be fooled into thinking that your heavy tank is all powerful. Oh, the Thunderbolt finally doing something. Shooting that Apache. Oh, and the Chaparral finishes it off. It's a miracle. Steven needed that dead so desperately. Going in for another run. Going after that M1 Abrams. Oh! Why didn't it shoot any missiles? Could he not actually see it? Why did this not fire any of its ground to air missiles? Air to ground, that's low. Now where's it going? Here comes Ian. Here I come, Ian Sinimon. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh lord! No! Oh. Two hundred eighty points, and it shot down one helicopter. Now, granted, that helicopter desperately needed to die. It, it really—I don't know why it didn't kill this. That's not on Steven. At least I don't think it was. Solo has just an overwhelming force at this point. He has no chance of pushing back into this Bravo zone. Especially now that Solo has a thick anti-air net. AA is bad, but if you have this much of it, it might actually start being effective. And now Solo's just going to mechanically pick apart that northern defense. Which, while before was sufficient, is now woefully understaffed. Here comes an Apache. It's got some Hellfires. Might be able to take out that Abrams. This is the unit for the job if you're going to do it. Apache, fire! What are you doing? You can't see that. What? Oh, and here, guys, we see the problem with lacking recon. Despite, oh no no, uh, 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 oh, he threw some smoke down. So remember, in this game, all your armor has smoke, 
which is extremely useful. You should use it generously. Okay, yes, it takes the micro. I believe it's B. The hot key is B. Hit B and your tank will deploy to smoke and give it a chance to get away. And that helicopter goes down to what I would assume. Oh, I'm not sure what this. I would assume. No, it wouldn't have been that. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how that went down. I'm not sure how his Apache went down there. Hmm. Maybe this Apache just went over and shot him. Now, Solo has not noticed that his Apache is getting hit by this stinger. If Steven gets lucky, he'll be able to take this thing out. You can do it, lonely stinger. There, he did it! Yay! Boom. I like to note I'm not rooting against Pixie in any way. I just, you gotta root for the underdog a little bit. Keep that game going. That missile missed really badly. But this defense is this. Uh... And Steven throws in the towel at that point. Knowing that he was way behind. Great game by both players. That was game one. I know we have at least one more to see. So we're going to continue on. Thanks for watching. Consider liking and subscribing for more Warno content. Thanks. See you soon.